What that shit do, you big old pimp, you? <laughs> I see you up in this motherfucker now, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Come here, holler at your boy. Man, it's good to finally meet you, man. After all that time on Life Invaders, man, we friends in real life now, huh? Look at you, dude. You, like, smaller than you look in your pictures, but... Oh, fuck it, it don't matter. Hey, I heard you wasn't a big talker, right? But I said... Just probably need to get settled in. Got that jet lag, you know? So I got a little gift for you. Welcome to Los Santos. Untraceable. You gotta love that. Who your partner is, pimp? Who your partner is? <laughs> man, dog, I'm glad you here, man. It's all kinds of opportunities in Los Santos. I mean, that's if you got the nuts to pull them off. And don't even trip, man. Your boy know people all over the city. Like the boy Hal. He is, like, hands down, the best mechanic in town. Or the other boy, Simeon, man, he's literally the best bullshit artist in town. Or we can go fuck with the homie G, or any of the homies from family, for that matter. You straight. Matter of fact, we gonna fall through on how right now and see if we can get us a race, you know? If you with the business, we can make us a little wage. <laughs> Ooh, wait, that's my shit. Yeah, dawg, this the spot right here. Go post up right there real quick while I make this call. We're gonna get you a car or something to race in or stare at the back of my shit in, cause you're gonna eat my dust, punk. <laughs> Shay Shay. Come a second, dog. Somebody gotta do it. Yes. Yeah. Man, if you don't get off my phone with this bullshit. Fuck. Man, some people are so clean. Hey, what that shit do? You trying to make some cheese? My boy Gerald G, he looking for somebody low-key right now. And to be 1,000 with you, I'm thinking you. Look, it's a big exchange of merchandise going down. The Vagos and the Ball Eaters and squash their little, uh, cultural differences or what the fuck ever. 
Anyway, why don't you slide down there and see if you can shake up the free market economy a little bit and uh, get that cheese. Hey, I'm going to text you the boy G address. Don't even trip. He's straight. That's my dog. You know we got you. Hey, G, come out here, man. My folks here. What's up, dawg? How you doing? Well, goddamn, you anti-social motherfucker, you gonna speak? Hey. See? I told you. Y'all gonna get along great. Y'all can get to take this shit on the road. How your little ventriloquist act going on? Maybe you can stick your hand up his ass. Give him the dope. Yeah. All right, here. It's right. Don't bother counting it. If you get anything else interesting, bring it my way. <laughs> yeah, what I tell you, what I tell you, motherfucker, we like you. And now you got you some bread, what you need to do is go get you some motherfucking gear, because you bummy as fuck. <sighs> you can't be walking around with me looking like that. You need to better representate yourself, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, G, don't get lost, fool. Come on, man, tear that shit off, man. I need my commission, G. You hear me, dawg? I need my commission, nigga. You about a stingy motherfucker, man. This is... is that woman? I know who this is, Ronald. You? You disgust me. You, what kind of a sick harridan are you, huh? You come here and you walk around the state like you own it. You never write, you never call. I mean, you don't even send a welcome basket or maybe a nice plate of cookies. Or not even an inappropriate selfie of your tits. But I love you. Really, I love you. You're like the close female friend I've always wanted. You're like the eager soldierette that I've always needed. So it's time to start repaying your debt to society. And you can start by dealing with the terrible harm you've done to the local businesses, especially mine. Now go, go on. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige will set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Is that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <it's> <coughs> You're only going to need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a, a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of Getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're going to be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Okay, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it. Study the plan. Tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs.
Okay, I'll look after this. Lester will come by your place when you're ready to go. Your, uh, your first time. You know, the uh, first times, well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know? <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know? You probably stick the wrong thing in the wrong part and you'll finish too early and, and you won't be able to, to make eye contact afterwards. But, uh, but new worlds will, will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know? New uh, opportunities. Uh, new risks, <laughs> and that's when you'll remember that old Uncle Lester was here for you, holding your hand, you know, guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're going to repress it, squash it down, and we'll never talk about it, okay? Okay? Mm. Okay, <laughs> first time, Lisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, you come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Okay. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so uh, don't expect too much. There are uh, wild, mm, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck! Shoot me. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! He's got a plan for the cops if you can just... Show it to me. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, you passed. And if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for a first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. Welcome to your office, madam. I'm your new executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. The recreational area slash breakout space, going through to the executive suite. We're all set up to grow this company with everything a modern executive could want. There's the boardroom. The panels are easily swapped, so you can install a gun locker or a safe whenever you want to. Here are your personal quarters, where you can freshen up, take a quick nap, or change for a meeting. 
Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where you'll access the SecuroServe Special Cargo Network to take this operation to another level. I'll tell you all about it when you first log in. So that's it. Take a look around, get settled in. I'm at the front desk or on the end of the phone whenever you need me. Oh, it's the boss. Okay, here's our new vehicle warehouse. Let me show you around. We're gonna store all our vehicle cargo here before selling it. We can fit 40 cars in here. We got a vending machine and some personal space back there for getting some shut-eye and changing your clothes. When you bring a car back, it'll get fixed up and listed on Ad Hoc's Autos. When you access the website from the laptop on the desk, you'll see your current stock of cars and be able to select how many you want to offload and to who. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you got on hand. If we want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanic's on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damaged, and to do the mods. But believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovated down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge Phantom Wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. And that's it. We should get to work. The more vehicle cargo we move, the more of an interest Securo serves gonna take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss. So, Mr. Crest said we should talk about work, but not here. Is there a room in the back or something? Cool, I'll get set up. So, Mr. Crest said you might be able to help me out with something. Well, not me, so that's clear. It's not me you're going to be helping. And I want to understood that I am not involved. Just a bystander doing a favor. And this is not an offer of employment so much as an opportunity. And, well, anyway, that's just getting a bit technical. But the point is, sometimes our fair and legal justice system makes mistakes. And this is one such time. Here he is, Professor Maxim Rashkovsky. You know the professor? Used to be head of research for the Army. Three doctorates, overconfident polymath, vain sociopath, tedious egomaniac, control freak, geneticist, weapons development, engineer, car nut, but definitely not a people person. Accused of espionage along with everything else? You don't remember? Well, lucky you. Exceedingly vain and self-absorbed man, brilliant at everything he does, yada yada yada, makes you want to puke. He's a goddamn traitor. I mean, he's a rat, but he pays. Incarcerated for a crime he did commit, but, well, let's just say money talks and he's going to walk. So, we got a few things to get ready, all pretty straightforward. Do them one at a time, but any way you like. Standard op for a gov fact breakout, if you know what I mean. Rad. All right, first thing's a plane. Then we got a bus, and th then, well, two things. We got the inmate transfer schedule and Rashkovsky's car. More on that later. Let me show you. 
We need a plane to get the professor out of the country. It's currently being used to traffic drugs by a transnational street gang, the Vagos. The bus. We need a standard Bolingbroke transport vehicle. The least traffic is on the route from Polito Bay. All right, that's where you're going to be able to get a hold of one. You can get a hard copy of the inmate transit schedule at the LSPD's Mission Row station. Go in unarmed, play it cool. You might not have a problem. That's a two-person job, max. The other two-hander is our guy's prize casco. We believe it's about to be shipped to Korea by a luxury car theft ring. Okay, Mr. Kress said you guys are at least semi-competent, so, well, Professor Reshkovsky pays well. Up. We'll take care of this. We'll hold on to this for you. Hey, good work, people. Great job. Nice, we're still in business. Very well done. All of you, very, very non-incriminating. Yes, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. Ah, you know, it's ironic given we, uh, uh, <laughs> maybe now's not the best time to discuss irony. God, what is wrong with me, you know? I'm usually such a high achiever, you know, for a criminal. <laughs> so. Before we remove Professor Rashkovsky from his unwelcome stay in prison, we've got to we've got to clean up a few other loose ends pertaining to the case. Yes, it's a killing, but no, it's nothing immoral at all. Just lawyers. Well, uh, the professor's old business associate and two lawyers, but really it's all the same. I mean, I always say, if you can't kill a couple lawyers to bend the law to your will, then who can you kill, right? <laughs> oh, here they are. Gavin Van De Loop and Josh Sherman. Get them on the way to City Hall, get the documents they're carrying. The business partner is Dima Popov. Extremely rich, extremely paranoid, and extremely horrible. Don't cry for this guy, no one else will. He's renting a place up in Richmond Glen. Just him, and a huge security team. Get close to him, take him down, and after that we should be ready to go. It's not paranoia. It's being prepared, stupid. Maybe that's why I'm not the asshole in the jail. Huh? Yeah, okay.
Got a bit of a problem. Some asshole got wind of what we were up to. Apparently killing a guy's closest associate puts a bit of a spotlight on him. <laughs> anyway, now I'm told they put a price on the professor's head, so we gotta move. Now, is that clear? Can we get going? All right, and remember, the professor's paying you, not me. Not me at all. So keep him alive. Based on this inmate transfer schedule, Ballingbroke are expecting a new arrival. One of you is going to intercept the transport, make sure it doesn't get there. Two of you are going to be taking our prison bus and making your way into the facility in its place. You'll be playing inmate and guard. Stay in character as long as it's useful, then make your way to the rooftops. I'll get on the radio and give you a path to the prof. Meanwhile, the pilot will have picked up the plane and be waiting on the evac in the air. Whoever stole the bus will be bypassing the prison and torching it somewhere discreet. After that, it's just a matter of getting your guy out of the clink and getting him onto the plane. Everyone flies out of there except for the bus thief. Professor Reshkovsky takes control of the plane. The three of you on board take a jump. The professor's out of U.S. airspace and reunited with his precious car. Simple. Should be the easiest money you'll ever make. Speak soon. Red flag the plane and their scrambling jets. Pilot, if they try to shoot you down, run evasive maneuvers. Okay, get to it. As long as they think you're an inmate and a guard, they shouldn't raise the... I thought they were sending professionals. I collaborate and nearly get a ship for their pleasure. Just give me... Uh, nice. There are some screws I hope we run into. Let's go! So long! I hope I pay you good for this! Hello, people. I think you'll like this. It pays a lot, which is what you want. So there's this chemical laboratory called Humane Labs. It used to be run by Rashkovsky and Popov's pharma company. A few years ago, it was leased to a shadow company run in part by Don Percival. You guys know Don Percival? Well, he's a warmongering right-wing douche with all the subtlety of a red dildo. Trust me, I've met a lot of them. Yeah, uh, warmongering right-wing douches, not red dildos. Whatever. Point is, Percival is up to no good in that shithole. Nerve agents, we believe. At least, that's what the intel seems to suggest. What I got told on the street, and what my boss, who doesn't want you to know his name, will pay you to discover, because what? Don't worry about the why, just worry about the how. First, got a couple things to take care of. Get the Humane Labs key codes and the armored 4x4s, like the ones guarding the place. You'll do the key code exchange just off Elgin Avenue. You're going to be meeting with somebody who's had a bit of trouble with the Bureau, so please use caution. One of you is going to do the exchange, one of you is a bodyguard, and the other two are going to be lookouts. The armored 4x4s belong to Meriwether Security Consulting, which belongs to Don Percival, who is running Humane Labs. You'll find the Meriwether insurgents on exercise at Davis Courts in Blaine County. All right, people, doesn't matter what order you do this in, just get it done. This will pay well. No questions asked. We never met.
You here for the access codes? Humane Labs? All right. When I get the all clear, we'll give you the codes. Can I get sign off? We need to be sure about that. That bank. That was you, right? Or someone associated to you? What you're getting into right now is a whole different ballgame, my friends. You got the go-ahead? We got it. The FIB, what are these clowns doing here? Shit! I tell you, we only needed one of these, other one's a spare. You're gonna be going in the one without a gun, don't wanna draw attention. Pull the electrics, strip the plating, EMP will go in, Merriweather won't notice a difference. You guys won't need armor in there, will ya? <laughs> All right, now get going, let's wrap this up. Okay, well done. You should take this up for a living. <laughs> We're making progress here. Like I said, nothing complex or dangerous, and that is exactly the way I want you to approach this next little task. We are going to borrow something off the Navy, an EMP. They're not gonna mind. Thing is kept on a plane, the plane is kept on a boat, the boat is kept in the ocean. All very simple, just borrowing something off the government, like a library. You are going to bring the plane here. We're gonna unload the EMP, sell the plane to fund the rest of the operation, write out the late fees, easy. After that, you need to deliver the EMP here. We're gonna borrow a helicopter from here, and we should be good to go. All right, great, good, call me. EMP comes out of the jet, goes back into the 4x4. Four four. We use the jet to make some money, destabilize an oil state, and we prep the insurgent to go back into the Merriweather fleet. Now, you, we're moving on to phase two, and that means taking the insurgent, once it's fitted with the EMP, and getting it into humane labs, so we can turn the lights on. Hey, careful with that thing! It also means getting a Valkyrie attack chopper from, and, uh, well, this will teach him who to listen to, Merriweather Security at the Port of LS. Once we're done with that, we'll go back to your place, get started on that thing I know nothing about. Details are on your board. You're bored at the apartment. Go. Okay, we got it from here. Transferred control of the cameras over to you. We don't have very long, so scan the area quick and make sure you know where the guards are. The guards will raise the alarm if they see anything suspicious. If the alarm goes, we're blown. 
Look out for their sight lines and take them out in pairs if you have to, but you only need to drop them if they're in the way. The aim is to get the insurgent to the bay at the rear of the facility. Clear a path to the bay. Panel to get the insurgent into the bay. Go to work on it. So we're good to go, I think. You've done great, and this won't be a problem. No one is gonna want to admit that anything happened here. According to my sources, well, Mr. Percival won't be successfully bidding on any government contracts if he can't stop himself from being robbed. You'll be fine. It's just gonna require a little bit of finesse. Two teams, chopper crew, ground crew, all of you will be flying in together. Ground crew is going to jump into the labs, set off the EMP, make their way toward the information we're after while the power is down. Chopper crew holds position in the air, deals with incoming security teams. Once the ground crew has what we're after, you coordinate an evac and meet my contact with the file. Are we clear? So remember, if we never meet again, we never met at all. I love you all, which is why it's best we pretend that nothing happened. And if it did happen, it wasn't me, and it wasn't me because I was never here. Stay strong. I love you all. Love ya. And that's how we don't get caught doing naughty things. When I ran agents in the field, I had to entrap them, cajole them, threaten them with deportation. You're never gonna know what I had to do. Now, apparently, all you gotta do is give them a couple bucks and a few kind words. I guess there really is no accounting for stupidity. But, and I'm serious now, as stupid as you are, you are not gonna talk about what happened here. Because your usefulness to us, well, it just ran out. And for God's sake, I hope you're professional enough to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. So glad you could make it. <sighs> ah, now, haven't we met already, huh? Have, have you met Ron? Have you? Well, either way, it doesn't matter. Congratulations! Huh? You all now have jobs in a startup. This is it. Trevor Phillips Industries. Welcome aboard. Oh, welcome aboard. I am not 
a drug dealer. I am not a pusher. Yeah, we're, we're locavores, huh? Recyclers! Yeah, we think very green. We take the drugs that already exist in America, and we add value to their supply chain. And that is what all of you will be doing. Now, first off, Ron, we will be borrowing a couple bricks of cocaine from some juiced up frat boys on a yacht off the coast. Then, we are gonna beat the Vagos to their supply of molly pills. Now, our guys do pick up and trash trucks, and so are you. And we're gonna be sneaking in to the backyard of the lost MCs. Oh, and then we're gonna take their meds that they've stashed in something. So, there we have it. We're gonna get the meds, we're gonna get the pills, we're gonna get the cocaine, or we could get the pills, the meds, the cocaine, ah, fucking whatever! You're gonna get it, you're gonna bring it to Ron, and then we're gonna fucking get moving! What you got? Ah, oh, a ten-year mandatory minimum, and maybe a felony murder. Okay. That's perfect. Now just leave it there. Now, if you're asked, under interrogation, I wasn't here. Unless it's Trevor who's interrogating, in which case, I was very much here. Sure, they're not following you. See, the Vagos can go places a U.S. extradition treaty can't. I mean, nice, hot places with beaches that will otherwise attract a snowbird like me. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> we got the Molly. Now keep on moving. Come on. Away from here. Go for it. right? I mean, those guys don't think we had anything to do with this. I mean, we're neighbors, right? See, I mean, I don't shit on my doorstep unless Trevor tells me to, but that was only once. But what I'm trying to say is that I only rarely shit on doorsteps, and when I do, I don't want the doorstep owners finding out. Ha <laughs> ha! Mollus. Okay. It's too late to save my marriage, but, you know, I got it. Trevor is very pleased with how you're getting. So pleased that he couldn't get here himself. But he told me that if you keep this up, maybe he won't. Well, he's very happy. And trust me, a happy Trevor is a good Trevor, and we all want a good Trevor. I mean, he suffered a lot. He's not the horrific, bloodthirsty maniac that we all imagine he is. Well, well he is, but 
He's got a gentler side. He loves his mother. Anyway, after this, we'll all be rich, and you can get to know him better. A kind man who likes animals and children and smoking crystal while the sun sets. Okay, so you're going to the lumber yard in Paletto Forest to pick up some grass. Now, it's a whole lot of grass, and it's well protected, so you got to go in cautious. Now, two of you with guns in the hills and two of you on the ground. You're going to get a whole lot of shipment, and you're going to get out of there. Now. Ground team will be driving the shipment out. Gun team will be protecting it. You're going to bring the grass to me, and I'm going to package it with the rest of the stuff for sale. Then all we got to get is the chemicals that Chef needs to get his lab up and running. And then we're good for the sale. Trevor will be in touch if there's a problem. that grass like 10 minutes ago. That's some good dope. Now, I used to smoke when I was in college. Man, that was some far out times. Now I, ooh, ooh, hit the ice, I take apart a radio, and I masturbate till dawn. Trevor calls it maturity. <laughs> and I'll get this unloaded. But unless any of you want to get down with Tina, no? about that. Much as I want the O'Neill's tanker sitting right here. I'm gonna empty it quick and get out of here and sell it for scrap. Okay. We're good. Get lost. I'll dump the rig. Bye. Go. Go, go. Could have mistaked you for someone who actually liked to use more than three guns, but I, I, I see how it is. I understand the only weapons you know how to use are the heavy sniper, the DMR, and the minigun. Trevor, or at the airport. Now someone, I'm not saying who, well, anyway, it's not my place to question leadership decisions, but someone may have told the Vagos, and the Ballas, and the frat boys, and the Lost, and the O'Neills, told them all where their stuff is. If you want to get paid, I'd get over there, quick. Now I got to... Don't let him kill him. Oh, nice one, friends. Nice one, huh? TPI on our way. We are on our way. Oh, thank you, people. Thank you. Great work. Really great. Here, here is what I promised you. <laughs> A little advance from my earnings. You gotta speculate to accumulate. Now we've done the speculation. Soon we'll do the accumulation. Very soon, all right? Now let's get the hell out of here, all right? I got the buyer coming through. Thank you. Thank you all very much. Hey, be cool with that money. Only by superficial crap and superficial people. Who are you? I'm Impotent Rage. You can't be Impotent Rage, cause I'm Impotent Rage! Yes, buddy. I will deal with you later. <laughs> hey, my brother. <laughs> yo, yo, it's Phil. 
uh, good to meet you finally. Hey. Trevor, ain't it? So we're gonna do this, or we're gonna have a circle jerk, or both? <laughs> Whatever you want, man. Uh, got the drugs? Yeah, if you came for what you ordered. Yeah, I have them. Good. Can I see? Can I see the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So, Trevor, <laughs> there is the money. Hand me the cocaine first. What? The cocaine you are selling me. Excuse me? <clears throat> are you selling me cocaine, Mr. Phillips? Well, why do you keep saying that? Hmm? And, and how is it that you know my name? Fucking narc! You you under You are under arrest for trespassing. Get away! Fuck sakes! Fuck up. <laughs> well, you all look good, hmm? How do I look? Do I look like a, like a model? <laughs> like I work at Pekka Woods? <laughs> like a regular dreamboat? <laughs> well, <sighs> whatever. We all love banks, hmm? Especially the, the big ones that take big risks, because they just know that if they went under, we'd all be dead. Too big to fail, hmm? Great idea. Let's put it to the test, hmm? Well, this is a little something I came up with. I, uh, <laughs> I like to call it bank robbing with a social agenda, if you will. <laughs> it's something I, I tell myself so I can get some sleep at night. Anyway, <clears throat> those overly leveraged turds at Pacific Standard Bank, they are going to be hit at their flagship branch. How are we going to do that? Well, it's a little complicated, but there are some trucks that I need you to photograph. One of those trucks has a built-in transponder. 
And we need our transponder to blip out a don't explode signal to the die packs when we take them out of range of the Pacific Standard signal. Get it? All right, don't worry about it. Just photograph the trucks, and I'll tell you which one to hit. And once we've done that, we'll need to have the transponder programmed to Pacific Standard's frequency. Now, my uh, signals expert, Avi Schwartzman, he's a... <laughs> He's uh, been on the run for years, you know, avoiding people, uh, hold up somewhere in the middle of nowhere, near North Chumash, you know. You go up there, you make nice, and you bring the device back, and then I will brief you on the rest. What do you say? Well, not very much, I imagine. <laughs> Be good. the one transponder should be back here yep that's the model when you can take it to Lester's guy Never should have stuck my head out. No, 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 it was cool. Don't answer the phone to Lester Crest. All right, all right. Let's go. I'm helping Lester. Have you done it? What? Has he done it? Well, I, I, I don't have the uh, Pacific Standard Frequency here. I don't have my tool. Ain't that convenient. I've got some tools. Come on. Let's go meet you back at your place. And don't worry, the transponder will be ready for the job. Ah, good, good, good. Yes, you're doing good. Just uh, three more little tasks to perform, and we should be good to go. First, we're going to need some hacking equipment, the kind that nobody makes, and the sets that are in existence are all traced. So we'll need to rob it from someone who won't mention that it's gone missing. Bank robbers! <laughs> These guys. Now, they've uh, set up a warehouse behind Vinewood Boulevard, maybe. Maybe they're getting some of the, the same ideas we are. Now, I recommend that you get the same van they have and switch out the equipment. And that way, when you make the run, they'll go chasing after their own van, and one of you can get away clean with the equipment. Now, at the same time, we'll need these thermal charges for the first vault door. Now, Merriweather, with whom I understand you are very, very well acquainted, <laughs> has a regular contract to carry explosives across the city for their mining company. You will attack the convoy and Calafia Bridge, take the charges from that shipment. And lastly, we're going to need some bikes, hmm? Fast ones, really, really fast ones. <laughs> and I have, um, I've sourced some very, very, very fast bikes indeed. <laughs> They're currently being uh, borrowed from the manufacturer by a, a group of bikers that lives out in, uh, <coughs> in, in Sandy Shores and, and Alderney and uh, well, you know, all the corners of the country that are still <laughs> living in the past. Anyway, get all that done, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, bye.
What you got for me? I could use some hardware like this. I'll case it up, get the interface ready. Hey, if I don't see you before the job, I should say, uh, try not to fuck it up, all right? Adam? Looking good. I'll ditch the truck, you hold on to those. Yes, tappaka ne. Mitä vitt? Kuka se saatana? Sinäkin vielä. Okay, okay, okay. So, are you ready? This should be uh, pretty easy. I've kept it simple since you all seem uh, pretty simple. In a good way, in a, in a good way, in a good uh, straight ahead, uh, low IQ kind of. Oh, no, let's do, no, let's do, stop it, stop it. It's the new meds. <laughs> okay, armed robbery, here we go. Whew. Uh, here it is. Keep it simple. You go in heavy. You go in well armed. Some of you will do crowd control. The vault team will go downstairs, blow the first vault door with the thermal charges, then use the card to get into the network and open the second vault door. And then look out, because you'll have about two minutes before every cop in town is waiting for you outside the bank. So you move fast. You get on the bikes, you split, and then we meet at the rendezvous point, okay? Good luck, people. Nothing can go wrong. It's uh, all good. I'm all good.
Much, but you, you, oh, you, you know, I thought you were just a bunch of uh, creepy and quiet weirdos. Turns out you're a bunch of creepy, quiet weirdos with talent. You, you rob and you steal and destroy like, like geniuses. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Here, let me uh, wire you your money. You know, I will never forget the good times, you know, all the, the laughs we had. You know, you're like family. The picnic, the picnic, <laughs> you know, and the hike in the woods, and, and all the selfies, and <laughs> oh, and the time we went rollerblading, and we, we watched the, the sunset, and we, we stayed up all night talking and sharing our innermost fears, and, and then, what, what, that, that wasn't you? Even the, the skinny dipping and the... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. <laughs> I, uh, the drugs. Oh, man, the drugs. I'm a, I am a heavily medicated man. I, uh, I'm not well at all. I, uh, I'm a little embarrassed. Um, okay, the money. Here. And here. And here. And... Here, okay, you better take off and uh, take care, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>